in the last class we have done few things let's quickly review it there are few things here and what are those let me just come to this wait okay first of all few things in this and what is it what is atom in this because it's what we are talking about the atomic physics so the first important thing is all the matter is made up of atoms and what are atoms now different type of uh, atomic models are discovered or this different type of atomic model are proposed to actually make people understand what type of an atom it will look like so what exactly happened what is at atom in an atom there are three major things there may be too many but for the time being there are three major thing one is called as electron one is proton and one is a neutron okay so the important thing is it is the smallest entity an element have okay so smallest entity of a matter is called as atom it consists of first thing nucleus first of all how does it look like it look like let's suppose this is your atom okay in your atom there is a small nucleus inside nucleus you will have a proton and you will have a neutron okay and outside this nucleus you will have electrons revolving in the shells like this so basically how does it look like you got proton and neutron in the nucleus and electron revolves around the shell inside the nucleus i'll show you what type of shape it will look like this is type of shape you have it check it out in the center this point you will see protons with a gray shape circles and neutrons with the sort of a reddish shape, reddish shape and then you see in in the orbits around this nucleus you will have electrons revolving around them, like this so this is called the structure of atom in a very simple way all right so now i want you to put a heading atomic physics and i want you to write few lines okay just write i want you i want you to write it down an atom is the smallest entity an atom is the smallest entity of a matter of a matter it consists of it consists of it consists of nucleus it consists of nucleus and electrons and electrons and electrons now put a heading nucleus a nucleus is a central part of an atom a nucleus is the central part of an atom made of protons made of protons which are positively charged particles which are positively charged particles and neutrons and neutrons and neutrons having no charge these two types of particles are called these two types of particles are called nucleons nucleons they are bound together by the they are bound together by the strong nuclear force put a heading electrons what are electron guys they are negatively charged particle and they got a very less mass as compared to proton and neutron so that's the reason they are orbiting around the nucleus or you can say they are revolving around the nucleus so just write it down electrons are almost massless particles having negatively charged having negative charge which orbit nucleus in shells which orbit nucleus in shell under that put a heading proton number 
Now in chemistry or as per our previous knowledge, we called it atomic number, right? Atomic number, we call it here. Here we call it proton number. Can anybody tell me what is meant by atomic number in chemistry? Yes, atomic number. Anyone? Number of protons. Yeah, number of protons or number of electrons. Because we believe that we are talking about atoms which are no ions actually. So in, pro, in atoms, number of protons and number of electrons are the same. So number of protons or electrons in an atom. Write it down at the front. Basically, they are protons, but at this point of time, we are talking about atom, not ions, so both number, both the numbers, proton and electrons are same. So, number of protons or electrons in an atom. Okay. Then, I want you to write a heading in nucleon numbers. Now, remember that in chemistry, we have mass number. Here we have nucleon number. What is nucleon number? The number of nucleon means number of protons plus number of neutrons in an atom. The number of protons plus number of neutrons in an atom. I hope everybody write it, writes it. Okay, now put a heading, not put a heading, just continue. The following is the nucleide notation for an atom. Nucleide means it's a plural of nucleus. Like if you want to show one atom, this is the way of writing an atom as per uh, this notation, where this X means just a symbol for the any particular element. This Z means a proton number and A means the nucleon numbers. Like if I write here uranium 92, 235, then this one will be your proton number and this thing written on the top will be your nucleon number or in other words, 92 is your atomic number and 235 will be your mass number and this U will be the symbol for the element, right? Okay, now after writing this, write a question. Find the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in the following atoms. First one, uranium-92-235. Can anybody tell me how many protons, electrons and neutrons are there in this element or in this atomic number, I mean in this atom, in this nucleus? Yes. How many protons, neutrons and electrons are there? Sir, the protons are 92, right? Mm -hmm. And electrons, they are also 92. 235 minus 92? No, no, no. Proton and electrons are same. So it's 92 the proton and 92 the electron. But neutron will be 235 minus 92 because you will subtract number of protons out of 235 because 235 means number of protons plus number of neutrons. So you subtract it. 235 minus 92 will be how much? 143. 143. So your number of neutrons will be 143. So number of protons are... Now I want you to write this first and then we will see it. This is called isotopes. Isotopes, anyone knows what are isotopes by the way? Atoms of the same element having different number of neutrons is called as isotopes. I want you to write further till here after that. Atoms of the same element, atoms of the same element having same proton number, having same proton number, but different, but different nucleon number, but different nucleon number. 
So basically, nucleon number means number of neutron will be different. Number of proton or number of electron will be same. So you have to write this definition. Now, example is this. This is carbon 12 and carbon 14. Carbon's proton number or atomic number is technically 6. And mass number is technically 12. But you could have 6 and 14 as well. Now, in that case, your proton number or your Z will be 6 actually. And your electrons will be 6 as well. While your neutron will be equal to 6 as well. Why? 12 minus 6 is 6. But in that case, your, pro your neutron will be 14 minus 6, which is actually equal to 8. So here you got two extra neutrons in it. Yes, students. Any issues? No. no sir. This is just the basic, okay? Now, important things. At this point of time, let's start as the name suggests, radioactivity or whatever. Now, radioactivity is very important phenomena and very interesting phenomena as well. You know, some elements having especially, now at this point, I'll let you know what exactly it means. But first of all, anyone knows what radioactivity is? Any ideas? Yes, anyone have any idea what is radioactivity? You know what happened actually? Those elements whose atomic number is more than 91, 92, 93, they have a natural tendency because if you just check it out, their nucleus may be a big one anyway, but their electrons are actually moving in different shells around that. There may be too many shells. And if shells are too many, naturally the force of attraction between the positive charges which are inside the nucleus and electrons which are moving in the shell are not that strong. So force of attraction which actually controls these electron motion around the nucleus will be as weak as possible, especially those ones who are actually moving in the shells far away from the nucleus. Okay, So that makes those elements or those atoms unstable. So they are technically unstable in, in nature. So what they do, they start releasing different type of elements or different type of radiations. And by actually releasing those emit or emitting those radiations or particles, they change themselves into stable nucleus. Or in other words, their atomic number or you can say proton number or mass number or in other words, nucle nucleon number will reduce or increase depending upon. So their electrons, proton or neutron out of these three things, something will be changed. And when this will change, actually, these elements will take a shape of another element. So basically, they change themselves into some stable nucleus. Okay. So the phenomena of actually disintegration, or you can say phenomena of releasing such elements and change themselves into stable nucleus is called as radioactivity. And, this, and the elements or the nucleus which perform this type of reaction, those uh, elements or nucleus are called as a radioactive nucleus or radioactive element. So I want you to put a heading of radioactivity and write few lines which I will dictate you. The radioactivity occurs when radioactivity occurs when the unstable nucleus of an atom, unstable nucleus of an atom undergoes undergoes a fundamental change, fundamental change, put a bracket inside it right a disintegration disintegration that results in that results in different nuclei of an atom different nuclei of an atom being formed being formed being formed and 
and accompanied by the emission of alpha particle comma beta particle or gamma particles. Sometimes you find it as with the radiation word, sometimes you found it with the particles. You can use with anyone. We will discuss them later on what exactly they are, but for the time being, we will actually writing the uh, definition for that. So we have to. Okay, everybody out and wrote it. Just put a heading or and write another definition. Radioactivity results from radioactivity results from the random and spontaneous breakdown. The random and spontaneous breakdown of the unstable nucleus of an atom. Radioactivity results from the random and spontaneous breakdown of the unstable nucleus of an atom. The process is called as radioactivity. The process is called as radioactivity. And elements which perform radioactivity and elements which perform radioactivity are called radioactive elements are called radioactive elements. Are called radioactive elements. There are two types of radioactivity. One is natural radioactivity and the other one is artificial. Artificial radioactivity and natural light. Now remember that we are talking about the natural one, not the artificial one. This one we do it by a certain way and natural radioactivity will happen in atomic numbers more than 91, 92. Okay. So now let's have an example here like here. This is sodium 1123. Now this one is radioactive in nature. Remember that. This is by nature a radioactive isotope of sodium even though it doesn't have atomic number 92 but they are natural radioactive. Okay. How many atoms are there in sodium? You got 8, uh, sorry, you got 11 protons, 11 electrons and 23 minus 11 which is 12 uh, number of neutrons in this sodium isotope. Okay. So now important things here. We have seen through that yes, they actually emit out certain radiations from them and these radiation when come out, they change themselves into some stable nucleus. Okay. So now let's deal with them and let's discuss what are those radiations and what are the nature of those radiation which actually come out from an atom to make them stable nucleus. Okay. Now let's see what they are. Wait a minute. Okay. At this point, we have to actually understand that the major radiations which are coming out from the 
अनस्टेबल न्यूक्लियस आर बेसिकली एल्फा बीटा एंड दी गैमा रेडिएशन दीज आर द्री टाइप ऑफ रेडिएशन विच आर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम दी अनस्टेबल न्यूक्लियस आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस न्यूट्रॉन एल्फा बीटा एंड दी गामा रेडिएशन नाउ वी विल डील विद दम वन बाय वन वट टाइप ऑफ रेडिएशन दीज आर विच आर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम दी रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट सो दैट दे बिकम ए स्टेबल न्यूक्लियस what are heading the properties of alpha beta gamma radiations the properties of alpha beta and gamma radiations put a heading alpha radiations or alpha particles alpha particles alpha particles now let's discuss them what are alpha particles first point the symbol for alpha particle is this sign alpha like this this is the symbol for alpha particles or in other words alpha particles and radiations or alpha radiation second bullet point now what exactly are alpha particles so remember that alpha particles are basically helium nucleus so what is helium nucleus helium is basically an element having atomic number 2 and mass number 4 but remember that these helium nucleus which are coming out from the uh, radioactive element there is a plus 2 charge on this or you can say positive charge on this it means that two electrons are removed from these helium nuclei so you can say that alpha particles are basically a charged helium nuclei in which two electrons are knocked out okay so now i want you to write it alpha particles are helium nuclei just write this sign alpha particles are helium nuclei or nuclei write this h e positive 2 4 with positive 2 charge with positive 2 charge in a bracket two electrons are removed from an atom two electrons are removed from an helium nucleus so what is the charge on alpha guys alpha particle positive charge it's a they are positive charge radiations next point okay now you tell me when you what do you expect when you send these or when these particles are actually exposed to electric field which way these radiation will turn into will they go towards the positive electrode or will they go towards the negative electrode yes positive or negative electrode anyone they themselves can you repeat the question my question is that these are positively charged particles okay so when you actually expose them into electric field or when you just leave them in an electric field you will have two electrodes a positive electrode or a negative electrode 
which electrode they will turn towards positive or the negative sir negative because electrons are negatively charged and these are positively charged so i did just next point is in an electric field in an electric field alpha particles are turned towards the negative electrode alpha particles are turned towards the negative electrode in the bracket right what do we call negative electrode in chemistry in general cathode or anode yes cathode anode or anode anode, anode. anode i think it's anode anode not cathode cathode is positive charge i think now next point speed alpha particles are traveling with the speed of with the speed of 0.1 times the speed of light alpha particle are traveling with the speed of with the speed of 0.1 times the speed of light that is the speed of basically alpha particles now guys next property is very interesting penetrating power remember that when you are talking about the penetration power these are the biggest or the largest particles out of alpha beta and gamma so they got the least penetration power but what exactly is the penetration power passing through somewhere okay so that is the low, lowest they have the lowest penetration power so write that alpha particles have the lowest penetration power alpha particles have the lowest penetration power out of alpha beta and gamma radiations out of alpha beta and gamma radiations in the next line just continue with that they can be stopped by a few centimeter of air they can be stopped by the few centimeter of air or thin sheet of paper or thin sheet of paper so they are very easy to stop even a paper can stop these alpha particles because they are big they got a big mass so even in a air they can be stopped as well as paper it, they can stop them as well okay now the next is ionizing power now what exactly is called ionizing power it means that it the power of making an atom ionize ionize means make an atom ion how can you do that you can take the electrons or remove the electrons of an atom that property is called as ionizing power so the ability i want you to put a heading in this uh, point put a heading what is ionizing power the ability to remove electrons from atom to form positive ion the process is called ionization just write this definition for ionization here
once you write it give me a shout please now you tell me guys being the biggest mass what do you expect alpha got the highest ionization power or the lowest ionization power because these are the heaviest of alpha beta and gamma radiations yes anyone hello anyone want so can you repeat the question my question is being the heaviest of alpha beta and gamma what do you think they got the highest ionization power or you can say power to remove electrons from an atom or the they smallest have the they have the highest but as far as penetration is concerned because they are the heaviest so they have a less penetration power so here just write in this alpha particles have the highest ionizing power between alpha beta and gamma radiations alpha particles have the highest ionization power between alpha beta and gamma radiations next point now another thing as in electric field they turn towards the negative electrodes in magnetic field they also show a deflection okay so when <clears throat> there is a positive i mean north and the south pole thing they show the deflection so you just need to write it down in a magnetic field in a magnetic field alpha particles show deflection alpha particles show deflection alpha particles show deflection alpha particles show deflection so these are the points for alpha radiations anyone have any question related to this please ask alpha properties alpha gamma alpha radiations properties no sir okay no questions okay once you understand with alpha particles now put a heading beta radiations now what is beta radiations or beta particles this is the sign of beta like this this is beta so first point is beta particles or radiations are represented by next point they are the fast moving electrons they are the fast moving electrons they are the fast moving electrons sir uh, i got disconnected can you start again okay. i just started with the beta particles okay so beta particle representation is this beta sign which i just drawn here okay 
and now the next point is very important beta particles are the fast moving electrons beta particles are the fast moving electrons having negative charge having negative charge so they can also shown like that e along with that negative 1 and 0 now the next point let's talk about let's talk about uh, speed beta particles are moving with the speed beta particles are moving with the speed very near to the speed of light beta particles are moving with the speed very near to the speed of light next point now beta particles got the moderate penetration power because they are in the middle somewhere in the middle of gamma and alpha particles so just write it down beta particles have a moderate penetration or penetrating power they have a moderate penetration or penetrating power between alpha beta and gamma radiations they can be stopped by a few millimeter of metals like aluminum and will travel and will travel a few meters in air and will travel a few meters in air and will be stopped by few centimeter layer of concrete and a sheet of lead and a sheet of lead now the next ionization power now they have the ionization power in between maximum and the minimum so just write it down beta particles have the moderate ionizing power between alpha beta and gamma radiations between alpha beta and gamma radiations just write it down and just give me a second any questions related to today's lecture so inshallah we will start our lecture from here and inshallah then we will finish in the next lecture we will try to finish gamma radiation and then we will do fusion and fusion try to finish this chapter inshallah inshallah uh, within this week or next maximum okay so take care and the recordings are available if anyone wants to review the recording so the recordings are uploaded for that you need to communicate with the coordinator okay bye